he did not get the popularity of the BMW X5 and Mercedes ML, although the combination of Touareg easily made both of them. We are trying to figure out the reasons for failures, or is it still successes? There were many birth injuries in the first generation machine, they are well known. Rehabilitation took a fair amount of time, and by 2010 we were offered the second, corrected generation of the SUV, in the arsenal of which appeared a version without a lower and with a torsion differential in the transfer case. And there was demand. Painfully high in Ukraine, the degree of trust in the brand. The Touareg 2 shown with versatility, it could hit a traffic light no worse than the X5, show off a remarkable premium like a Mercedes, and off-road easily wipe the nose of a Range Rover luminary. However, to outshine the competition, this was not enough. Not enough simplicity. The Touareg is acting up. Off-road, a car equipped with a reduction range of transmission requires great care. As before, from a low-quality solarium, the tricks of the diesel injection pump are thrown out, although already without the previous radical consequences with chips. Already at low runs, the 8-speed automatic is pushing. And from electricians you can expect any tricks. True, mostly small things. However, one should not think that we got a hopeless patient today. Rather, on the contrary, it is very promising, since all the misfortunes in the second generation of the car are less and less common with each subsequent year of production. In Ukraine, all available engines have proven themselves well, both gasoline and diesel. And with a leaking front crankshaft oil seal, this was a sin for V6 engines, do you really scare anyone with us? Often, problems with the gasoline pump and the timing chain drive and the gasoline 6 annoyed. But in the context of the relatively low cost of eliminating such diseases, even they seem like nothing. Still, it's better to think positive. About the brakes, for example, or about the bodywork. It doesn't matter that the brakes often squeak, especially when reversing. This is fine. But they do their job well. And who will be upset by the peeling chrome of the exterior trim? The car is no longer new. The main thing is that the paintwork itself is not one of the weaklings, it lasts a long time. Inside, though, things are different. If we get lucky. But crickets appear even in such, almost representative, cars. Squeaks and crackles, however, are less surprising than the alarming pulsation of signaling devices. Is it here? There is a lot going on with electricity. The operation of numerous sensors, the failure of heating, spontaneously changing the position of the seat, anything happened. But this, in fact, is not the reason for refusing to buy a Volkswagen Touareg. In general, the car is good and worth the money in the secondary market. This is an axiom that does not require proof. Don't bother looking for keyless versions. He is an outright lazy person and is often in no hurry to work on demand. But the key is fine. If buying a car is inevitable, the main thing is to check the condition of the air suspension with specialists, as soon as this takes place. Repairing it later is more expensive. And it's better to completely abandon pneumatics, although it makes the ride more comfortable and nobler. If the air bellows just let through at the connection somewhere, it's not so bad. But replacing the compressor will inevitably make you poorer by more than 40,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Yes, and they break, as a rule, in the coldest. Well, you know what we mean. In a word, as many have understood, Touareg is an enviable car, but it is not considered trouble-free. In Touareg services, an honored guest. Mechanics love him for the complexity of the design which, in turn, attracts good investments in the auto industry. The 8-speed Ison automatic is good for everyone, but on versions with the most powerful engines, by the time it reaches 50,000 km, it can start to twitch when switching. This is usually caused by the habit of jerking off from a traffic light. Often, flashing the box helps, but in advanced cases, you will have to change the solenoids and flush the unit, up to 40,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Among the units with a limited service life, the front axle gearbox is also listed. The 3.0-liter diesel engine is recognized as the most problematic. Not even he himself, but a high-pressure fuel pump, which is not reliable. Low-quality fuel further reduces its resource. VW worked with the pump, even arranged the review. But there are other problems as well. For example, with a leaking fuel filter or with a front crankshaft oil seal leaking oil. The 3.6-liter gasoline engine is considered optimal. Suspension is conventional spring and pneumatic. The first weak point was the front and rear pillars. They start knocking quickly, although it depends on the driving style. More trouble delivers pneumatics. Often, due to leaks in the system, the car rolls to one side. However, in later versions of the model, the node was finalized, the problem began to appear less frequently. 
Although the upgrade did not save many owners from replacing the compressor, misted headlights, even for a fresh Touareg, are commonplace. As well as peeling chrome parts of the body trim. Often there were cases when, after washing in winter, door locks and handles froze. It was possible to open the door only by force, which led to breakage of the door rods. If we talk about corrosion, then the SUV looks good here. Rust spots can be hidden only under the bottom of the car. Electronics is the weak point of the Touareg. You will certainly be haunted by even small, but annoying malfunctions, the elimination of which in the end requires considerable sums. Failure of the power window, heating of mirrors, seats, problems with the central lock, due to the ingress of moisture, the parking sensors fail and the electric wipers drive brakes. A sore subject is the keyless entry system.